So what happens if the number of particles of the subatomic particles change in an atom? OK, so let's work through that uh, one by one. The proton. If the proton number changes, the atom will move up or down the periodic table. Uh, this can happen as a result of radioactive decay. So the proton number changes, the atom will change its element. It will change from, from the element it was to a different element. OK, if an atom loses or gains neutrons, I, I, again through some form of uh, decay, uh, it changes to be the isotope of the same element, a different isotope of the same element. So you change the number of neutrons, you change the isotope of the element. And the final particle is the electron. If an atom loses or gains electrons, it becomes an ion and it becomes charged because it will either have more electrons than protons, in which case it is negatively charged, or it has more protons than electrons, in which case it is positively charged. So there you go, three cases. If you lose or gain one of the subatomic particles, that's what happens. See you in the next video.